We don't want to scare you, but even though most of the planet is covered by oceans, we've explored less than 5% total. And to add to that, scientists say we barely know any of the creatures that live under the sea. Maybe that's why when gigantic and creepy beasts wash up on shore, we're so fascinated by them. So abandon ship all who are afraid, because we're about to see wave after wave of the monsters from the deep sea. Are you ready to see what the darkest parts of the ocean have to offer? Keep your eyes peeled for the 10 largest creatures found on shore. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get all the best videos making a splash on the web. Are you tired of these puns yet? Just, just checking. Killer Whale This is interesting. An incredibly large orca, also known as a killer whale, was found off the coast of sea kelp, British Columbia in 2016. Orcas are the type of whales that have teeth and feed on other marine mammals. Let's just consider ourselves lucky they don't feed on humans. These things can grow up to be 26 feet long and weigh over 6 tons. That's as big as a school bus, another thing I don't want to be inside of. To add to their impressive resume, orcas are actually considered apex predators, which means they have no real enemies that try to prey on them. And if you spot one of these things in the wild, they'll almost never be seen alone. They're social animals, so they travel in packs. However, this one did wash up on shore alone and members of the Marine Mammal Research Program jumped into action so they could perform a necropsy and find his cause of death. It turns out that this big guy named Double Stuff was a 22-foot-long male killer whale around 18 years old. He was part of an endangered pod usually spotted in the Northeast Pacific, so he wasn't far from home. His particular pod, the J-Pod, was made up of 80 different whales, both male and female. J-Pod kinda sounds like a knockoff MP3 player, doesn't it? Scientists couldn't conclusively decide on a cause of death, but they said the trauma was consistent with animal-on-animal -animal aggression. Creepy. That means that there could be some monster out there targeting over 20-foot-long killers. The Bird-Beaked Skeleton Okay, now things are really starting to get scary. In 2015, a carcass washed up on a Russian shore that looked like it came straight out of a horror movie. Yikes, I won't be buying a ticket to this one. At first, scientists couldn't identify this prehistoric-looking mutant that was twice as large as a human. They were perplexed by a few unique attributes that they couldn't explain. First, all along the skeleton there was an appearance of fur and long hair. And second, where the animal should have had a mouth, there was a long spiked beak. These odd discoveries made the bird beak skeleton a sensation around the world. However, it was later found out that what they thought was fur was just decaying skin and muscle tissue. And the skeleton beak was one that looked incredibly similar to a dolphin. They did know, however, that the species was not from the area. That led them to a theory that a warm current had forced it into the Russian seas. Later, in an effort to debunk the monster theory, zoologist and paleontologist Dr. Darren Nash identified the creature as a Berardius beaked whale. No matter if it's a sea monster or something more easily explainable, it will still haunt my nightmares forever. Whale Shark In 2016, locals discovered a truly gruesome scene off of a beach in India. A massive 44-foot-long whale shark had washed up on shore with several injuries. The giant was over 21 tons and broke all the records for the world's heaviest fish. Scientists on the scene determined that it had been dead for around two weeks before it showed up. The mangled and oozing body was so bad that the people on shore had to prevent stray dogs and vultures from coming near it and having lunch. Gross. Wall sharks are actually the largest known fish in the world. In fact, the whale shark is so big that the body of this one had to be removed with a crane. Kinda makes you wonder where they ended up putting it. Unfortunately, they were declared an endangered species as early as August of 2016. That's mainly because they get caught in deep sea nets, overfishing by jerk fishermen, and colliding with boats. Ouch, can you picture getting hit by this behemoth? Bye bye boat. Even though these things are bigger than your car, they are actually pretty cool with humans. Not all sharks are scary. They're even known to let some approach them. Maybe they just want to make a new friend. And this situation wasn't the only time it's happened. In February of 2017, another 38-foot-wide whale actually washed up in the nearby city of Perry. It's pretty sad. These guys just can't catch a break. The Blood Red Orb This next selection is so rare, your best bet to see it would be in a textbook. But no worries, you don't have to open a book today. The opa is known as the world's first fully warm-blooded fish. This deep ocean dwelling fish looks harmless at first, and even kind of beautiful. But once you find out that it's over six and a half feet long, you're sure to change your tone. Unless you hang out in the cold depths of the ocean, you're not likely going to run into the opa. 
That's too bad though, because they can go for up to $12 a pound in some places that consider them a delicacy, which adds up quickly since they can weigh up to 100 pounds. One surfer was lucky enough to find one in 2010. He was in San Diego with a group of friends overlooking a cliff when he spotted a bright red object floating in the water about 50 yards away from the shore. Good eye, guys. As it got closer, the group realized it was actually a giant fish and ran to grab it from the water. As they approached the fish, they were shocked to see that the fish was in pristine condition, untouched by any of the marine life, as it would have went for over $400 on the open market. You might have made a mistake, surfer dudes. Giant Squid Maybe the most mythical looking beast on the entire list, the giant squid has been written about in popular fiction for hundreds of years. Early sightings actually inspired the story of the Kraken, an enormous titan that took down entire ships with its tentacles. Remind me to cancel my boat trip. Once thought to be merely a myth, the first image of a live mature giant squid wasn't taken until 2002. That may be why it's so surprising when in October of 2013, a real-life giant squid washed ashore. It was spotted on the La Arena beach in the Spanish community of Cantabria. Many people were rightfully shocked to see its squishy exterior, its dark and bulging eyes and its tentacles covered in sucking bulbs. Lucky for us, an underwater photographer was in the area that day, exactly when the squid washed up on the beach. Talk about perfect timing. This monster of the deep was actually 30 feet long and weighed close to 400 pounds. It also falls into the cephalopod group, which are the largest animals without backbones on Earth. In addition to the giant squid's record-breaking large size, it also has an extensive nervous system and complex brain. And take a look at those eyes. They apparently have the largest peepers in the entire known animal kingdom. They allow the squid to see deep down into the darkest and most dangerous parts of the ocean, where scientists assume they live. These things don't like giving up much information on themselves, do they? Pilot Whale this is an odd one. In February of 2017, over 600 pilot whales washed ashore in New Zealand's South Island. Each one of them is roughly the size of a van, so Australia's neighbor to the south had a lot on their plate. This type of stranding had almost never been seen before, so the locals had to spring into action to save lives. The whale rescue operation called Project Jonah was able to give their all and release around 100 whales back to the sea, which was no easy feat. And although some were freed, many had to be put down because of their horrific injuries. Pilot whales getting stuck on shallow shores is nothing new, as this happens several times each year in New Zealand. And it could be worse. The largest known event of this happening was 100 years ago when over 1,000 whales were stuck. Unfortunately, there were no rescue operations in order at that time to save them. Hey, we've made some progress. Professors at a local university said that the event certainly made a dent in the pilot whale population. So why did they all wash up? Unfortunately, nobody really knows the reasons behind it. Of course. But there are a few theories. Some say it's because of extreme weather conditions in the area. Others claim it's because of unusual ocean floor features which mess with the whale's natural navigation techniques. And the final and darkest theory is that they are affected by offshore oil drilling, which can injure the whales and cause the entire group to suffer. Way to end on a low note. Giant Jellyfish. It's time to take a journey into the foul and nasty. Over in southern Tasmania, scientists were left scratching their heads when one of the biggest ever jellyfish washed up on a beach. This blob of disgusting was almost five feet long and sure to make anybody do a double take. Can you imagine being on vacation and seeing this wild thing? Interestingly enough, that's pretty close to what actually happened. A family was out for a nice day on the coast taking a leisurely stroll, when all of a sudden their child spotted the massive jellyfish washed up on a shore and ran over. Later, a scientist said that these types of jellyfish had been seen in the ocean before, but somehow had never been classified. She had been working with jellyfish for over 20 years and said that tropical ones usually were pretty small. This was likely the biggest state she had ever seen. What a find. And the honor all went to a 12-year-old boy. When I was 12, I couldn't even spell jellyfish. Even though this was the first specimen they got of this particular giant, scientists are not unfamiliar with jellyfish in general. This one was deceased, so it was unable to harm anybody. But when they're in the wild, jellyfish can attack you with a very painful sting. And just a heads up, peeing on it won't help. That's just an old myth. Just throw some ice on it to relieve the pain, you weirdo. Ocean ET. Aliens from the ocean? Oh boy, here we go. In New Zealand in 2009, a local named Rose Fraser was taking a walk down Brown Beach when she spotted what she thought was a big white rock. The only issue, it hadn't been there as little as four days before. Eerie. So when she got closer, Rose began to think she might be dealing with the supernatural. 
It's kind of hard to blame her. It was a massive blob with ribs sticking out of it and looked unlike anything she had seen before. And it stunk. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Rose ended up sending a picture of the thing to the Department of Conservation and made its way to Otago University. After the departments presumably exchanged heated emails debating the potential existence of fish aliens, they were able to come up with a pretty straightforward solution. This wasn't an alien, but it also wasn't an animal. It was only part of one. What Rose found that day was actually the top of a male sperm whale's head. Well, that took a left turn. And strangely enough, the top of a male sperm whale's head is where the spermaceti organ is and the liquid from that organ is used to make sperm oil, which is the whole economic reason for the sperm whaling industry. One like that might have contained as much as 1,900 liters of the oil. So our friend Rose might have been looking at a gold mine, but probably not. Basking shark. It seems like when we're thinking of the giant beasts of the deep sea, our minds tend to go to whales and squids, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the biggest creatures end up being sharks, just when you thought it couldn't be any more disturbing. And this particular shark that washed up on shore was 28 feet long. That's bigger than an orca. In April of 2013, a Rhode Island native spotted the basking shark washed up near her house on the beach. Soon after the authorities were called, the biologists from the Northeast Fishery Science Center came to investigate the scene. After performing a necropsy, it was discovered that the shark had died at sea and washed up on shore. These shark's jaws opened to be about three feet wide and would scare almost any onlooker. Luckily, they are known to be very peaceful and non-aggressive. Just like the massive blue whale, these basking sharks are filter feeders. That means they only strain plankton from the water using over 5,000 gill rakers. You know, it's probably only a matter of time before these things get tired of taking forever to chow down and move on to bigger prey. Thankfully, they're incredibly slow. They only move at around three miles per hour. So the bright side is that if they ever decide to switch to human meals, we'll definitely be able to see them coming. But the basking sharks can grow up to be 45 feet long and weigh several tons. So if you get close to one, all I can say is watch out. Blue whale. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I know we've talked a lot about immense creatures so far, but this one definitely takes the cake. In Oregon in 2015, beachgoers were amazed to find a 78-foot-long blue whale washed up in their own backyard. This U.S. state will occasionally have gray whales wash up after they pass away, but they only average about 16 feet. A scientist at Oregon State University said it was actually the first time he had ever seen a blue whale on Oregon's beaches. And that's really saying something, since he'd been doing research there since 1968. There's no way of knowing what caused the whale's death, but when it was examined, they made some interesting discoveries. The blue whale was absolutely covered in orca and shark bites. Did a few of the other creatures on the list take advantage of a fallen comrade to have a nice dinner? Or was there a legendary fight between these humongous beasts of the tide? I'd pay a lot of money to see that go down, if we had any. Most times there's a beached whale, the state would bury the mammal where it rested on land to make things a lot easier. But because of the sheer size and rarity of it, people went to work stripping the carcass so they could preserve the uncommon skeleton. Authorities say that it will eventually be displayed in all of its glory at the Marine Center in Newport, a genuinely fitting legacy for such a worthy and scary creature. We're sorry if you don't want to go swimming in the ocean ever again, but we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you come back and join us for more creepy, funny, and interesting lists that all go a little overboard. Until next time, just be glad you live on solid land.